Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous week. I just wanted to do a quick, I, I'll call it an energy update for the week and opportunities for healing and releasing. This weekend was a really powerful weekend for releasing and integrating the learnings on a physical level. You know what I was finding is... I've been like carbo loading. <laughs> I uh, on Friday night and Saturday night I had chips and on Sunday I was looking at my belly going, "Yeah, still after Christmas, you got some stuff to release here. You need to get back on track, girl." But then I also got the message that uh consuming the additional carbs was actually needed for the physical transformation that was happening. That's not just with me, it's with it's with everyone out there. We have an opportunity of going through uh, a big transformation. As long as we have been paying attention to the emotions that have been coming up, uh, these are signs of patterns that we're releasing. Things have been bubbling up and, um, and, and noticing. So noticing your reactions to things, being open to what your takeaway is and maybe new thought patterns that you can take on. Thought patterns that have more compassion within them for yourself and for others. Less judgment and more acceptance of the beautiful uniqueness that we all are and trusting in the universe. Trusting that the universe has our back and that we are worthy and we are creators. You know, uh, with my yoga classes, I, uh, in the fall, so the fall session, I had two beautiful ladies that did a class with me on Sundays and that's all I had going on. Now for the past, you know, year and a half, it was really intensive going through a separation and then I moved into my new home in September and is, I had a lot of stuff going on and I, I couldn't put a lot of energy into social media. So uh, for this winter session and with having my own home and having bills to pay and it's like, oh crap, I really need to fill three yoga classes for sure in order to make my bills. And I thought, how the heck am I going to do that? I had two students before. How the heck am I going to fill three classes? And then I just kept on getting the message. You got to trust. You got to have belief in yourself. You got to remember, realize that you are the creator. And guess what? I filled three yoga classes. <laughs> so I was meant to, to, to bring that forth just as an example of how your own internal thought patterns, your, the viewpoint that you take on, the beliefs that you have, um, help to create that reality. So it is important to, to trust and to focus on what you want. Don't focus on the fear of it, maybe it not happening because then that's what you'll get more of the, it not happening, right? So now this week, be really conscious. I'm sorry, I feel like my hand is uh, shaking there. I have it resting against uh, my chair now. Maybe it will help a bit. Um, uh, notice the, the energy in your solar plexus. So this is above your belly button and below your ribs. And also notice your throat chakra energy. I feel like there's a big healing and integration that's happening. Your solar plexus is associated with your confidence, your courage, your willpower. Your throat is associated with speaking your truth. So even linking those together, having the confidence and courage to speak your truth to yourself and to others, being authentic and vulnerable and you know, whether it's a, with a love relationship, a family relationship, friends, neighbors, uh, career type of partnership, relationships within the workplace, um, having, having the courage to be authentic and vulnerable can also ensure that you are surrounding yourself by people who truly embrace you for who you are and who will appreciate you for your gifts. And in some cases, that can be really scary. Like I'm going through some job interviews now because I'm looking for that awesome full-time position that I'm just going to thrive in, right? And yeah, I'm being more vulnerable than I ever have because I would, 
in the past, I would have fears of well, what if they think I'm a wacko? I, I channel messages, right? I'm an empath. I feel into energy. And those things are also amazing gifts. So if someone's going to judge me for that, then maybe they're not the best match for me to, to work with, right? So of course, I'm going to... I'll use my judgment. If it doesn't feel right to share something within the moment or with certain people, then I'm not going to. Um, so you still need to, uh, to use that discretion. But when it feels right for me, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be more vulnerable. So I just wanted to share that and see how that applies to you this week. I hope you have a super awesome, fabulous week. And uh, I will see you for the weekend reading. That is my intention to carve out some time for the weekend reading. And if you're interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one, uh, healing and channeled uh, session with me, you can do that. And I do have some availability in a Sunday morning yoga class, 1045 a.m. So you can DM me for if you have any questions about that. Bye.